Okay, so before I begin today's video, I want to start off by saying a few things. Firstly, I apologize. I realize that there haven't been any videos on the YouTube channel for the past two or three days or so. There's probably not going to be a video out tomorrow for a reason that you'll see in a second, but after that we'll be getting back to our normal daily League of Legends videos. But today I want to do something a little different. Today, March 24th, 2016, I'm 22 years old, it's my birthday. My birthday is special to me for a number of reasons. I never actually got to celebrate it that often when I was going to school because I shared a birthday with like five other kids in my graduating class. There's something about springtime birthdays or something eight months earlier, I guess. My birthday has actually been a little relevant to me in terms of video gaming stuff ever since 2009. On March 24th, 2009, it was also my birthday. It was a Tuesday that I woke up at exactly 5.24 in the morning. I had to get up to go to school, but before getting dressed, taking a shower and all that, I rushed downstairs, booted up my computer, got onto RuneScape and got 99 range. To this day, I think that 99 range is probably the greatest accomplishment I've ever gotten in any video game, no exaggeration, and I don't think I would even be playing League of Legends today if I didn't get 99 range in RuneScape. So let me give you guys a little more context to this story. Before the year 2009, when I started getting really interested in competitive games, stuff like League of Legends, Counter-Strike, and StarCraft, I was really, really, really addicted to MMOs, specifically RuneScape. I just loved playing RuneScape. I've made a number of videos about it on the YouTube channel before, and I've actually talked about it in the past on stream and Twitter and all sorts of places. But I started playing RuneScape in the fifth or sixth grade of elementary school and I played it for a solid seven years afterwards. RuneScape, for any of you who don't know, is one of those older school MMOs. It first came out in 2001 as a browser-based MMO, something that you could play from any computer without having to have like an expensive computer or graphics card or whatever. It's an interesting game because it's an MMO that sort of carried a lot of the elements of older style MMOs into the 2000s when the World of Warcraft style MMO started dominating the market. Like RuneScape is an MMO that doesn't have any races, it doesn't have any classes, you're just a dude and you can level up anything however you want. You have 30 or so different skills that you can choose to level however you want. You have three different types of combat, you have range, magic, you have hit points, you have crafting, you have farming, you have all sorts of different skills that it's completely up to you what you want to do. And in those skills you obviously start off at level 1 and the cap is 99. Getting a 99 in a skill is a really difficult thing to do. It's not difficult as in it requires skill or anything like League of Legends or any competitive game, but it takes a whole lot of dedication and focus and a tremendous work ethic. It takes around 13 million experience to get 99 in a skill, and it sort of varies how long it takes depending on the skill that you're training, but for ranged, it takes around 250 hours of game time to get level 99 which is a very, very long amount of time for a little 13, 14 year old kid. I first decided I wanted to get 99 range when I was around 13 years old. And back then, especially, my parents were super strict about how much time they wanted to have me in front of screens. I don't know if any of your parents ever did this, but my parents had this system called Media Minutes, where it was a pretty weird parenting technique. Basically, the way it worked was, at the start of every week, my parents would give me an allowance of media minutes that I could spend throughout the upcoming week however I wanted. So for instance, if they gave me 10 hours of media minutes, I could spend a little over an hour watching television every single day to use up the media minutes of the week. Or if I wanted to, I could spend them all on Saturday morning and watch Saturday morning cartoons for four hours and then play video games and watch movies for six hours or so afterwards and then just blow them all Saturday. But however I chose to spend them, I only had those 10 hours I could spend in front of screens, playing video games, watching television, or doing anything like that. Now I actually don't remember if my parents were still using that system by the time I was 13 years old, but that's just sort of to highlight, my parents were not very forgiving with how much time they gave me in front of a computer screen. To get 99 range and to spend 250 hours doing it, it was going to take a lot of effort and a lot of hard work. I went through all the different phases that you go through when you set out for a goal and you work really hard to get it. I started off super motivated and excited at the beginning of it, but by the time I got to like level 80, I was already exhausted. I didn't want to do it anymore. I was, I was almost going to quit, but for some reason or another, I never did quit. RuneScape, for one reason or another, was just a game that I found so fun and exciting and the, the achievement of getting a 99 in a skill and achievement cape, it was so thrilling to me that 
For one reason or another, I stuck with it. Over the next two years, I would work so hard to get as much time playing RuneScape as I could, also just to enjoy the game. I wasn't training range the entire time there. But I would work every day in school to make sure that everything I had due would get done in school. Like if I had homework or anything, I would make sure I'm getting it done in between classes. I would work so hard so that whenever I got home, I wouldn't have to worry about any schoolwork, anything like that. I could just spend my time in front of a computer for as long as my parents would let me. I remember I would wake up up at like 2 in the morning some days because I could wake up when everyone was asleep, go downstairs, play RuneScape for until my parents woke up, and when they woke up say, oh, I just woke up a little early to check my email. And I just remember those two years, I spent so much time killing yaks. That's the method that I was using, bronze throwing knives at yaks on Neziat Island. It took forever. I died so many times to random events by trying to half AFK while watching movies or reading books or something. I died to that stupid poisonous plant a million times. Times. But eventually, on March 24th, 2009, I set up everything perfectly. I got 99 range on my birthday, and I have never had a birthday since that where I haven't remembered that achievement. The thing about that accomplishment that means so much to me is that at that point in my life, I was kind of a quitter. I mean, like, if I got cut from the basketball team, then I, I would just never want to play basketball again. I would be so devastated and upset at myself for not doing well enough to stay on the team, but I wouldn't think, okay, well, let's just work harder and keep trying. No, I would kind of give up and move on to the next thing. That's the same thing with orchestra, with chorus, with football, with everything I did. It really felt like I gave up too easily and it started getting in my head. I realized that I was giving up on a lot of things that I didn't really want to give up on. I just wasn't able to pull myself up by my bootstraps and say, okay, let's get through the tough times. But for one reason or another, 99 range was the first thing where even if I wasn't enjoying it, even if I was having a spell of really huge frustration where I couldn't, I couldn't understand why I kept doing it, I did keep on doing it. I somehow, at the age of 13 and 14 years old, I managed to discipline myself over two years and never lost sight of this accomplishment. And by the time I was actually able to achieve it, by the time I got 99, I was so ecstatic, it was the best feeling in the world. After getting 99 range, I would play RuneScape for a little while longer actually, but I would eventually quit the game and start looking for other games that I could play that were a little more competitive, where I could spend those 250 hours going towards something that was a little more skill oriented and skill intensive. And of course, that's when I really started getting interested in StarCraft, Counter-Strike, and then in 2010, League of Legends. I read an article the other day written by someone who's a game designer who was talking about why gamers hate DLC so much. Why everyone that plays video games can't stand EA and can't stand all the companies that try and nickel and dime us by trying to, you know, squeeze out every penny we have. And in his article, he talked about what it costs to make a game, the price of producing a video game, how it's going up year after year after year, even though the price it costs to buy a video game has leveled off at $60 ever since 2005 or 2006. And then he goes on to explain how DLC is how companies get around this, how they can still charge $60 for a game but still make money even though the price of the game is so much more expensive to make. But then he brings up an interesting point. He says the reason that gamers get so upset at this is because it feels like companies are disrespecting our intelligence. Companies aren't just coming out and saying hey it's costing us more money to make these games so we have to charge you one way whether it's making games $70 a game or through microtransactions. No, they're trying to say, here's your game, but then actually not releasing all of the game and holding a little bit of it and then releasing that as day one DLC or whatever. It feels like we're being scammed and like companies aren't respecting our intelligence, even though video game players are probably the most intelligent market in the world. Other companies can get away with it. Apple doesn't have to explain to their consumers why a MacBook Pro costs $2,000 but video game companies should treat their audience a little more intelligently. Video games make us so smart. They teach us so much about critical thinking and about learning and about puzzle solving and about how to discipline yourself. Personally speaking, I have learned so much about myself and about how to think and about how to approach problems and difficult issues through video games more so than maybe school itself. So when you try and hoodwink video game consumers in this way, it feels like you're trying to disrespect us and steal our money when you could just try and treat us like we're reasonable adults. Every time my birthday rolls around, it makes me think about all this. It makes me think about that eager adventurer inside of me that 
just loves video games and loves going out and setting impossible goals for myself that I then go out and somehow manage to achieve and feel great about. I honestly don't think I would be playing League of Legends or that I would have a competitive drive at all if I didn't feel the excitement, that rush of excitement that you get when you see all your hard work pay off. I can't help but wonder how my life would be different or how I would be different if none of that ever happened. Anyway, this is something that I like thinking about this time of year. I hope you guys all enjoyed listening to this little story, listening to these little ramblings. I will see you all in a couple of days with a new League of Legends video, but until then, thank you very much for watching, good luck in solo queue, and have a wonderful day.